Hi, in this session we are going to learn more about the file related commands like how do we rename a file, how do we make a copy of an existing file as well as how do we delete a file. Now let's begin. Now first let me just show you that this particular directory does not have any files. Now I'd like to create a file. In order to create a file we can just use cat output redirection operator. Let me just say the file name is source.txt. Right? You can add in some contents in that, telling that right. So now after adding up this content, I'd like to stop. You can just check out that if the content is properly added to the file. Yes. Now you can just observe as of now I do have one file. Now if you want to make a copy of this particular file then we can take the help of cp command. The cp command takes two file names as the arguments. So you have cp then you need to specify the source file name followed by the destination file name. What is the source file name? source.txt and what is the destination file name you wanted? You can give any meaningful name like I will just write destination dot txt. Now what it does is it makes a copy from source file to a destination file and you can just observe that two files now. Right? Now once a, a copying is done there is no connection between these two files meaning they are two independent files. So you can just see as of now destination has the same content as the original source. But let us say I would like to add something to the source now. I will just try to say cat write source this content is appended right ok. Now I added this data to the source right. So if you look into the source file you can see that previous data plus the new data but if you have a look at the destination file it does not contain the data which was added after copying right. So from this what we learnt is whenever you uh, make a copy right the entire contents of one file will be copied in another file and after copying it there is no connection between these two files. Right? Okay. Now, we never had a destination file, so it created a destination file. But let us say we already have a destination file now. Now, I'd like to again run this cp command. Right? So, I just write source destination. What do you think? Will it say that the file already exists or will it not say that the file exists? Right? So, let us just try to run this and you can just observe that it never told or gave you any warning telling that the file already exists but it will override the existing file. We have seen that whenever you copy from a source destination if the file exists it is going to overwrite the file but I never want to overwrite if the file already exists right. At least it should prompt me telling that the destination file already exists ok do you want to overwrite it or do you want to cancel the copying right. If you want to perform this particular ok action then along with this source and destination you have to use hyphen i and you can just observe that it is going to ask for a prompt. If you say yes it is going to copy it, if you say no it is going to cancel the copying right. But as my source and destination was having the same data so it will be difficult to verify it. So let me just try to recreate the source, I will just write ok uh, source.txt this is a sample file right. Now we can just uh, see the destination, uh, we have a different content out there altogether. Now I would like to just write cp source destination hyphen i and I would like to say no I do not want to copy. I said no right. Now I would like to see is it really copied? The answer is no. But I try to run the same command and I will say yes and you can just observe when I say yes right it is copied. Clear? Right. Now the next thing what I like to do out here is we would like to copy into a file which, with a hyphen i option right where destination file is not existing like for example source new file dot txt. Remember there is nothing called as new file dot txt. I am giving the hyphen i since the new file is not existing so it will not ask me that if the file already exists because it is not existing. Okay, only if the file exists it will prompt otherwise it will not prompt fine. Okay, fine. Now the next thing is 
we don't want to make a copy of the file we want to rename the file right in order to rename the file the command is mv your existing file name then the new file whatever you want to say i'd like to rename this as updated.txt now you can observe that it is going to rename the file it will not create a new file you can just observe this it has renamed it so we just learned how do we copy a file and how do we rename a file now let us say you want to remove a file in order to remove a file we have a command rm file name you can just say update.txt and you can just see that the file is deleted but did it prompt no if you want to prompt like in that okay that you are trying to delete this particular file are you sure about it right so you can just write destination hyphen i and you can just see out here it is going to prompt that do you really want to delete this file or not accidentally you have done this you can say no but if you really want to delete it you can just say yes so as of now i'm saying no you can just observe the file is not deleted i'm running the same command i'll say yes and you can just observe that the file is deleted right we learned how to copy how to rename and how to delete a file now the next thing is assume that i don't want to make a copy of entire folder or also called as a directory right now a folder can contain multiple files okay so in windows we could just write or even ui on linux you can just copy the folder paste it and then you can if you want you can rename it right how do we do the same thing through the command prompt first let me create a directory and let me just try to say that this is c programs or something what i have it here right so inside this uh, c program i'd like to add some files out here Re remember i'm in c program here okay and then i'd like to add some files out here so i'd like to write cat greater than first dot c i'd like to say that uh, hash include hello world right so i have this data and i would like to just make a copy of this first dot c to second dot c right and then you can just observe i do have two files in this particular folder so i'd like to come back to the parent directory you can just observe lsc program you can just observe that okay i have two files now i would like to make a copy of this to some other folder so which folder here you can just observe as of now i do have only one directory called a c program another source.txt i'd like to make a copy cp right use an option hyphen r use a directory and then what is the new directory you want right so i would like to say programming in c right okay enter it and you can just observe one more directory is created let us have a look at uh, programming in c right you can just write ls programming in c this is one way or uh, the other way you can just also observe here a uh, tree command right tree command is installed we can just write tree command here you can just observe we had a folder with two files the same thing and another new folder with two files if you want to delete a directory if it is empty rmdir will do the job but if it is not an empty directory like for example we can just see here that we have c program as one directory which contains some files right rmdir followed by c program will fail so you can just write rm hyphen r you can specify the directory name so you can just observe it's going to delete the entire directory you can just observe the entire folder and the contents of that are deleted or the same if you want to delete the programming in c also you can just write remember this rm is without any options is only used to delete a file right but if you want to delete a directory and its contents right so we have to use rm space hyphen r clear right so we learned how do we make a copy of the file we learned how do we rename a file we also learned how do we delete a file as well as delete a folder which is empty as well as a non empty folder fine thank you